Hello guys, I'm going on vacation this week and I need to choose what kind of art supplies is going with me. Obviously it will be watercolor and colored pencil and maybe something else, but I want this time my travel kit to be as small as possible, so I need to choose what color exactly I will take. This is watercolors, this is my greens, blues, violets, reds, uh, yellows and oranges and uh, you know, some neutral tones and earthy tones and this is half pants that i'm going to use too this is brushes empty box pencils pencils and some fine liners this is pile of pile of my swatches from every color so and the information about it so start to choose. Let's start with the uh, watercolor. Before paints, I want to say about this uh, sketchbook. It's uh, HR Perfect Sketchbook. It's a very nice uh, sketchbook with a very thick paper, 300 GSM and 100% cotton, which I really, really appreciate. Uh, I have never tried it, but I'm gonna try it, uh, try it on this vacation. So, okay, we are ready with, with this sketchbook. So, I have this empty metal box and 12 empty half pens that suits it. Uh, and actually, there is a place for more, obviously. And I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure already that I will take this Kinocredon Rose half pen from Van Gogh, the cold, cold red color, which is really important, I love it. So I need to choose 12 colors more. First of all, classic way to, to, to do it is to, to start with uh, uh, six colors, like two, two blues, two reds, two yellows, and then look around. We will start with it two. So, as far as I know that I will go or with this cold red. And I have two options for the warm red. I have this, this color from Permanent Red uh, Deep from Van Gogh. And this uh, red color from, from White Nights. And this is it. I think I prefer Van Gogh here. So we go for it. Next, I'm gonna play with yellow. I actually not sure if I really do need a lemon yellow uh, because I actually don't use it that much, so I think I will just skip it. Um, instead, I will go with this green gold, which is this color, which is uh, really something in between yellow and green. I use it really a lot, so it's not like lemon yellow at all. It's a perfect choice for me. And to be honest, warmer yellow is not an easy choice because I do have uh, a variety of really, really nice yellows. I do have Gamboge. I do have Indian yellow, which is almost orange. I, I really like uh, how it mixes with uh, turquoise green to to make uh, like grass green. And I do have this Kinecredon gold, which is really beautiful. For now, I think I will choose between Gamboge, because I like uh, uh, its transparency. It's Gamboge and Kinecredon gold. I just will choose it later. So next we'll go for blues. As a cold blue, I am go for for phthalo blue. I like it a lot. And for warmer blue, I'm thinking between maybe this turquoise green. For me, it's more blue, but it's something in between for sure. Or maybe cerulean cerulean blue, which is I'm not sure about because it's. It's basically phthalo blue with uh, with the white in, inside, but it's pretty beautiful color. It's here, so I will choose later. So basically, what do I know about what I need for sure? I think I will I will take endothrian blue 
because it's uh, really good for the sea and there is a sea around uh, Sicily where I go. Yeah, we're going to Sicily, which is incredible. I'm happy. I'm so happy. Oh my God. So next, uh, I really like uh, how this uh, green gold is mixing with the uh, paints gray. For me, it's a perfect uh, mix for green. I actually use this mix a lot, not only in watercolors, but in oils too. This is my favorite mix in like almost every picture. So I take it for sure. Sometimes I use cadmium orange. I think I will take it too. Mix mix with a, with a cobalt blue. Yeah, I will take these two together too. Mm. Okay, and from natural tones, do I need anything? And I think, I think I would like to use something like a burnt sienna or English red. They are really, really, really similar. Well, I think I will go with the English red. I like to use it too. So, how many tubes do you have now? So it's 12. Huh. So I really can, can take everything. In this case, I think I will go for violet. For this violet. This is permanent blue violet. It has two pigments in here. So maybe I would better choose something with, with the one pigment. Like this dark scene purple. Yeah, it has only one pigment. We will go for it. And I definitely do not need to take this many blues. Now I do have uh, one, two, three, four, five blues. This is not what I need. I don't need phthalo blue. And between these two, choosing cerulean, this color is kind of too, too bright and too strong. To be honest, I don't use much of cerulean blue too. Maybe I'm okay with these two and just mix it with uh, with my yellows. Okay, I think I will take a green. This is, how does it call in English? Because it's, it's a Russian paint. It's emerald green. It's emerald green. It's nice in mixes. It's nice for water. So, so okay, I think this is really nice uh, variety of colors. This is definitely what I'm gonna take with me. I think it's time to place it in, in pants. Let's do it! To be honest, I'm kind of surprised because uh, I tend to think that 12 colors are not enough. But apparently 12 col colors are not enough when it's a set you just bought in a store. The colors are not chosen by you. When it's when you really know what you need and choose colors that you are really using and you know that uh, that they are mixing the way you need. I think that 12 colors is more than enough. Okay, let's go to the next part. I will choose several colored pencils and then other stuff that I will need. I really don't need much of it because I'm gonna use colored pencils only as a, a little addition for my watercolor sketches. A little bit of lining, maybe some textures, just some adding some little things. Colored pencils are not uh, main characters here. Basically, I need just a few, like five, six uh, uh, pencils. And I think I need mostly some kind of dark tones. To, to make lines, shadows, all these kind of things. So, 
I have a lot of colored pencils. This is my Dervent and this is a, a big, really big set of Prismacolors. I will use my color charts. My, this is my color charts for Dervent. And this is a huge one. Yeah, this is a huge one for a Prismacolor. So, from here, I think I will I will take Blackberry one because it's really perfect for almost everything. This is one. This one, yes, I like it. And yeah, I think I think black one and Indigo. Indigo is nice too. So that's it for the event. From here, I want to take some reds, like maybe cre crimson red. Yes, crimson red and Tuscan red. <laughs> Then I think I need few few greens. First of all, I will take lime green because as you can clearly see, I use it more, more than every other green, so it's a useful color. For the dark tone, I will go with marine green. I think I will I will take this one too. So I have couple of purple, couple of reddish, couple of greens, black and blue, and I think I need something yellowish earthy, something. Let's go with chocolate. Chocolate is okay. This is a really nice, really nice selection of colors. Uh, let me sharpen it real quick. So pencils are nice, sharp and ready to go. And we are going to to take a look on other stuff that I may need to to have with me. What I'm going to take with me. There are erasers. I have three. Needle razor, regular one, and a mechanical razor for small details. I think I will definitely need a needle razor because watercolor stuff just need it. And details one. And this is, this is stay at home. Okay. So this is two of my spray bottles and I definitely will go for the smaller one because on the go it's like perfect size. Just look, I love it. I don't think I will take regular pencils because mechanical pen pencil is enough and you don't need to 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 sharpen it all the time so yeah mechanical pencils mechanical pencil is what i need and about brushes i do of course have more brushes than this uh, but this is uh, my smallest of watercolor brushes for sketching i will definitely need this water brush because I'm not sure about uh, using this water part because sometimes it's hard to control the amount of water but it's a really nice brush and uh, on the go it could could be really useful for nice uh, simple sketches so definitely um, about these Hmm, I do have more what I need. I need to find out right brush. Here we are. This is my my love. This is a really useful brush. I use it a lot. It's a Skoda, a squirrel brush. It's small, it's good for this A5 size. So I I need it, I love it. Then I need this one. Uh, this is Escoda Tool, Escoda Perla. This is synthetic brush for detailing. I love it. Then 
I definitely need bigger sized uh, squirrel brush for bigger washes. So this Kalinsky small brush, nah. no, it's not necessary, no. This China calligraphy brush is really, really good for textures, for trees. I just can't can do it without without it it will go with me this is a really nice synthetic brush too but i think i already have this one so i don't don't need second one uh, this is striper for really really long and small lines mm, okay i will need this i think for sure i don't usually use fine liners with my watercolor sketches but just in in case i will take i will take this one unipin fine liner just a fine liner just in case and i think i think that's it that's all i need let's watch it i will swatch everything right here on the very first page so let's take a look. This is so bright. I love it. One of my favorite watercolor uh, watercolors. This green boat. It's Gamboge. Gamboge look, looks really similar, but it's warmer. Yup, твою мать. This is cadmium orange. Really useful color. Then should be permanent red. Let's try it. And I want to tell you that the paper in this sketchbook is incredible. Kinacridon rose. Nice and bright. Over. Then, then should be purple. Oh, yeah. I didn't tell you, but I but I changed my mind and uh, took cerulean. So this is cerulean. Yep. Cobalt blue. In the friend blue nice and dark very beautiful color very beautiful color English red well it's basically brown and paints gray Well, for me, it looks perfect. Just, just perfect. Let's swatch pencils. So this is it. This is my travel kit. It's ready to use i honestly can't wait to to start sketching and i really really hope that my next video will be about me using all these wonderful things in italy i i can't wait i just can't wait this is gonna be wonderful i believe this is gonna be wonderful so thank you for watching i hope it was a really interesting video it was pretty interesting for me to film i hope you enjoyed it and see you in my next videos. Bye!